Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back again doing the August 2016 monthly tarot horoscopes for everyone with their ascendance and our moon in the dear sweet Lemmy Puff Scorpio. And for those of you who are new to my channel and don't know, I call all Scorpios Lammy Puffs because um, I have a dear friend who's the original lamb. Uh, who's extraordinarily sweet and kind. He's the sweetest person I've ever known. And, um, and he's a Scorpio, so I have a soft spot for Scorpios. But um, <clears throat> just to give you a quick up update here, um, this video is going to be much shorter than my regular videos because I am recovering from being sick for two months and um, I have to limit my vocal usage. So. Um, just so you know, also, if you'd like to have a private reading, I do have a website, oracledaphne.com. It has my available p availability on my calendar page. Um, and, um, also to, um, you know, you can just email me, elizabetholson31 at gmail.com if you'd like to have a private reading. So, let's see what we guys have for you. Go lay out a spread here. Hmm. I actually feel like it's sort of it's sort of a so so spread. Um there's good things about it, but then there's these interesting aspects to it. So I'm just going to go through it. Um, you do have the outcome is the waiting card. I don't always start as art as the outcome, but because the outcome is waiting, it's kind of annoying uh, because it's not where you're moving forward. You're kind of more stagnant. You're standing still. You're waiting for the perfect time. You're waiting for the perfect opportunity. You're waiting to hear back about something. Some of you may be waiting to hear back about a job. Maybe it's financially related because you have this Ten of Pentacles here in the immediate future, and it's it's sort of like this little green pocket. So something to do with finance. Um, some of you are waiting on inheritance. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is big money, really big money, a chunk of change. So maybe you're waiting on that to come through. Um, some of you are really striving very far, you know, high in career. Some of you have money, um, but I feel like there's going to be two camps. The people, the Scorpios that have money are waiting to come into this money. Um, and then the people that are kind of more stagnant, um, you're waiting on the opportunity. The money hasn't hit yet for whatever reason. Um, <clears throat> And you don't have you don't have as much as maybe some other people do. Um, you do have the six of swords in position of emotions, which I like to see, which is you moving on from a stressful period of time. Okay, um, I will say, despite every everything else, you know, I'm seeing this reading. I do feel overall financially, August is going to be a better month for you. Um, you know, everybody else is, everybody else financially it's sucking, but for you, you know, it's your time. So, um, I feel like it's going to be a better month. Now you may not see results and it may not hit until September because again, the outcome is waiting. Um... feel like I feel like some of your finances is blocked because um, I feel like you're in love with someone who doesn't love you back or there's some element of wanting a relationship and not getting it um, to frustration there I also feel like there may be some like restrictions and I and I and I been feeling this across the board so you're not alone here restrictions as far as um th like this is not really an expansive time and normally leo august you think august you think big because leo um 
is is August and expansion and Jupiter, but to me this is more of a contracting time. So there may be some limitations, there may be some rules, some kind of structural issues. Some of you may be living at home. Some of you may be living in a place where you feel limited in some way. Um, there may be some limit on your finances where you're not uh, able to do everything that you want to do. And this is like a dark cloud hanging over your head because it's a maybe, okay? Um, it's also a card about, some of you, it's too much work and not enough play time, okay? So some of you may be very, very wealthy, okay? Um, but the downside is that you're working a lot <laughs> and, you know, you, you're, you're not carving out enough time for you. Um, other people may not be wealthy at all. You just may be working, you know, working, 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 a 60 plus hour work week and you're not taking enough time to just decompress. Okay, so you may have fun, you may do things that are fun, but at the end of the day, you gotta go back to work and you're working, 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 working. Um, it's just like the ratio, it just needs to be more balanced, okay? Um, I feel like some of you are afraid of getting hurt um, in a relationship Maybe you've been hurt before in the past and you're the one that's like, I don't want a relationship. So I feel like there's several different Scorpios here. There are some Scorpios that are in love with someone or want someone who's rejecting them. They don't, they don't want a relationship. You know, they're not interested or they're emotionally unavailable. They're married or whatever. Um, and then, and then the other Scorpios may be you may be married or you may be restricted in some way yourself where you're just not ready to have a relationship. So someone may be pushed forward with you and you may be like, no, no, I'm not ready. I'm sorry, I'm not ready. Not ready, thank you, goodbye, click, <laughs> you know? <laughs> when square feels push back, they really push back. So you may be kind of pushing off some suitors. There may be some people that you don't want to date and you may be pushing those off. Um, and then some of you may be in the opposite boat where you're the one where you want the relationship with someone. So, um, you're going to have some significant changes that are going to be happening in August because you have the death card uh, coming in from the outside now. This could also be death plus, inher death plus the ten of pentacles is equals inheritance. So someone may literally pass away and there may be some money there, okay, um, for you. Um, because you do have the two there together. I don't, normally people don't, you know, other tarot card readers don't see the death card as an actual death. And I don't really see it usually as an actual death, but because we have these two together, I would say that there is a chance that... Um, someone is going to be passing away and leaving you some money. Now that's not, of course going to be applicable to everyone, but I am going to say that that is possible because it just makes sense. Um, but typically the death card, no matter where it shows up, is a card about uh, a domino effect of things happening. It's sort of like a catalyst. So it doesn't matter where it is. Now the fact that it's coming in from the outside means <laughs> the, the universe is pushing you in the universe it's the universe it's outside energies it's the universe it's the planets it's other people it's you know things happening that aren't really where you're saying okay i'd really like to quit this job or okay i'd really like to get this project done or okay i'd really like to go here you know on vacation no or i'd like to really move to australia no this is where the universe is like saying well you know, you're getting this money, it's inheritance money, so what are you gonna do with it? Or the universe is saying, well, you know, your lease is ending and so now you have to look for a job. Okay, well, you know, you are, I don't know, for whatever, you know, project, the project that you, you know, wanted to complete, you know, there's no funding, so you've gotta do something else. So it's just sort of like changes that are not forced, forced upon you, but like things that like aren't really totally up to you. Um, 
but it is it's transformation and in a way this is a good sign because i mean this is what you're going through and this is a very i mean the death card is is your card so it's actually you're you are in character this month things are going to be um challenging but i feel like you're going to be able to handle that okay um these are fixes that you can make you know relationship wise work wise you can have work life balance this is something you can do um relationship wise you can um you know find somebody who's at going at the same speed that you are because if you're going at a speed where you're just like okay i want to just sort of ease into relationships i don't want to do anything too rash i just want to take things easy that's your speed then you need to find somebody else who's at that speed if you were to get into a relationship like if someone was like to call me up today and be like beth do you want to get married i'd be like well fuck you no <laughs> Not today, not in a second. <laughs> maybe maybe let's go on a few dates first and see how it goes. You know, that's where that's where I would be. And I, I feel like it's the same thing for you in a way here. You know, you're not at that point where some of you may just be having cold feet about a relationship or some of you may be not at the point where you want to get married or move forward in a relationship at a certain and maybe somebody else does. Um You may be in a relationship to a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, because you do have the Eight of Cups here as the foundation. But this is a positive, this is positive for emotions. I feel like you're going, despite any changes that happen, you're going to feel good on some emotional level. Um, and despite the fact that you're working hard, and you know you may be dating and you're not not finding this or Mrs. Right. And and some of you may be struggling a little bit with financially. Again, some of you may have money, some of you may not. The people that are struggling financially, I feel like things are going to improve uh, in time. You need to. I feel like some of you are really going to fast through life. Because you have the Knight of Pentacles followed by the Seven, okay? So it's sort of like there may be something that you're missing because it's... Um... Hang on just a second. Hang on just a second. Some of you may be going too fast through life, so there may be opportunities that you're, miss you're missing because you're going too fast. It's like you want things like now, 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 and you need to slow down and smell the roses and just like take it, take it, eat a breath, okay? Um, and there may be opportunities where that you want to push forward for with them, but it's not that there's a timing issue. And here's where I caution you: trying to push forward faster isn't going to help. You can't force things. I feel like there is there is some level of you going so fast that you're that and you have you know you've got tunnel vision on this. This is you tunnel vision. Okay, this is the Knight of Pentacles here. He doesn't. He's driven to succeed. He or she is driven to succeed. But what at the end of the day, what are they going to have? You know. Um, when you finally get to the goal or the thing that you think that you want, everything has changed, okay? So you need to live in the now moment. You need to stop and smell the roses. You need to put your feet up and relax a little bit. You need to spend more time with your friends, with your family, and figure out what's most important. And love is the most important thing. And so I don't see any romance cards here. Um, you do have the Six of Cups in the recent past. So, you know, you may be focused if you have kids on kids, a child, um, children, taking care of the family, feeding them, clothing them, making sure everybody's going to bed on time. My tablet keeps doing this. Hang on just a second. If you don't have kids, you know, you may have animals, pets, taking care of pets. Um... I feel like there is so much of a focus on career and um, focus on finances and you're being driven to succeed because you feel like you have to or because you want the money. 
And I would say you need to realign your priorities with... I, I'm getting the universe. I don't know why I want to say the universe. You know, the universal laws, understanding really how things work, understanding that you come in naked and you leave naked and you can't take any of this money with you, any of this stuff. There is an over-focus on materialism here. Um, some of you just want your finances to look better and you, you don't you, you want to stop worrying about your bills some of you are worried about your bills um you know some of you you have family helping you out or friends helping you out because you have the page of swords in reverse which is you know this is being you know the tiger getting pulled up by the tail out of the situation um I do feel like you have the Wheel of Fortune in the center plus the 10. So I do feel like your fortune is changing. But the fact right now, crowning you, you have this Nine of Swords, which is fear. Fears and worries and doubts and negative thinking. You're stuck in that. You know, you need to pull yourself out of that. You need to, I want to say just like, you need to think more positively. And I, and I, I feel like some of this is not really going to resonate with you what I'm saying because I feel like what you need is a more spiritual perspective right now and I feel like a lot of you just want to pay your bills just have a very material perspective and the two a lot of times just go like just just like go like this it's like it's like you know I'm telling you you need to have a spiritual perspective and you're going well I just want to know am I going to get the job am are my finances going to get better am I going to be Mr. or Mrs. Right and and when is it going to happen <laughs> how soon is it going to happen and why isn't it not happening soon enough it's not happening soon enough because you may or may not be ready your finances may or may not happen you know change um although I, again fortune your fortune is changing for the better so i do feel like your fortune is going to change you know but by the time you have the money or by the time you get the job you're going to, all this time is going to have been wasted on focusing only on career, or only on working, or only on one thing. And you need to say, you know, there is more to life than just work. And there's more to life than money. And there's more to life than business. And... I feel like a love of money. I feel like some of you love money. So you may have grown up with very little and you had to work really hard to have what you have. Um, some of you are just working freaking fucking really hard. Um, and you want to know when it's going to kind of let up where you can relax. The, the, the problem is, is that you can relax now. You can relax in this moment. You don't have to put the pressure on yourself to constantly you know, beat yourself up over everything that you have uh, or don't have. <sighs> you know, I want to say you're enough right now. You are enough. You are worthy of love. You're worthy of abundance. You're worthy of everything that you are striving for and everything that you want. You're worthy of all the things. You deserve to be wealthy. You deserve to be healthy. You deserve to be whole. You deserve to be happy. You don't have to prove to the world anything, and you don't have to work yourself to death. That's what I want to say. And you can focus on other things. And some of you, some of you, you have this constant, you have the, the tower reverse too. You have this constant, you're constantly worried about where you're going to live, you know, are you going to be homeless, you know, how are you going to pay your bills, you know, you're just constantly worried. Um, some of you are affected by events in, in the world right now. Some of you are really affected by some of the events, things that are going on in the world. Um, and some of you are going through like the divorce from hell. Um, and there's just so many things. Some of you are like dating someone and there's a lot of red flags and you're not paying attention to any of them. You need to be careful about... You need to be careful about car accidents. You need to be careful about dating people and where you're going and paying attention to places that you're going. If things don't feel right or if you're getting red flags about something, you need to stop, okay? You need to say, you know what? 
this doesn't feel right. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Thank you so much and goodbye. Then you can get up and go. Um, and whatever you're going through, hang on just a second. I'm gonna shuffle just briefly here. I'm using my deck, which hasn't been published yet, but it will eventually. Um, the Tower of Verse is like something really unexpected that has, that has shaken your whole foundation. Something that like really was like a big wake up call, like more so than the Tower. The Tower of Verse is like worse than the Tower. The, the Tower in some cases can be just like something unexpected happening, getting into a fight. But the Tower in Verse is, <laughs> I created it, of course, of course I did. You know, I had to make something worse than the Tower. So, so the Tower is, is absolute catastrophe, a lot of people getting affected, more than just one person. So this is a you know, divorce from hell, you know, something happening in a, in a family. This could be something in the family too. Um, like again, a death in the family that affects a lot of people. Uh, or something that happens in the family that just affects, you know, more than just one family member. Um, this is where something, you're shaken to your core, okay? And um, the point of all of that, the point of going through that is to release a lot of emotion, pent up emotion, um, the point of a lot of car accidents is to release emotion, to release something from the past that's locked in, um, that you don't even, re you know, to release something in your energy. Some of you have, are, have, are, 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 are like a natural writer. I've, I've gotten this, I reshuffled like, you know, as you can see, I've been reshuffling and you got it twice. <laughs> so some of you, you're a great writer and you're, um, you're definitely, your books are definitely going to be published. Definitely. Um, and you may love, you may love reading as well as writing. Some, some of you just wish to be happy and happily married. Um, some of you have like a history of abuse. You gotta watch out with the Tower Reverse is abuse, being in an abusive situation. Um, you gotta, you gotta, Scorpios will cling on until after they're dead. So you need to let something go if it's really bad. Even if like something hasn't happened yet, let go. Let go and let God and move on from it and just be done with it. Um, some of you are just working on getting over the past pain, the pe pain from the past. Hurtful people, crazy ex-boyfriend, bad divorce situations, uh, violent experience. Some of you are just trying to get over some stuff. Some of you, it's been a while since you had sex and you need to do it more, okay? You need to have more sex. Um, you know, some of you haven't had it at all, okay? So, um, some of you have some karma with relationships. Some of you are going through a really bad breakup. Okay, and this is the, the kind that includes yelling, fighting, drama, tears, unhappiness, unfairness, text blasting, violent outbursts, custody issues, cheating, third party issues, lies, deception, all that shit. Okay, it's really bad. If you're single, you're just not over a bad breakup. You're, that, to me, that's just coming through very, very strongly here. It's in both decks. Um, some of you... It's interesting that this is showing up. Some of you are, have been in a long-term affair that you can't really seem to stop. Um, it can be a short-term or a long-term. It's usually a long-term. I feel like it's more long-term, but some of you is maybe newer. You have this. You have the hots for somebody really bad. You know, you want to have sex with somebody really bad. Um, Some of you, there's like a disconnect between you and a partner. Um, and I feel like some of you, it's like you're going to sleep with someone or you're going to hook up with someone. It's not going to mean anything. In a way, some of you need to like rebound really badly. I feel like you're going to rebound. I want you to know that if you have children, um, the message is that you're, 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 they're, they're going to be happy and healthy 
and they're going to succeed in life and make a contribution to the world. They're going to grow up to be really, you know, wonderful people, um, successful people, but also just wonderful, beautiful people that contribute in a positive way. Um, and a lot of you want that, but the message is that you hear that, so you stop worrying about your children, uh, about their success. Um, it's interesting because uh, I made some cards for some specific health stuff. Um, at the time, I thought I had fibroids, and I and I actually have a condition. I have PCOS, which is can cause the same type of symptoms. Um, and but some of you actually do have fibroids, and I feel like those are, you're going to get those removed, and you're going to feel much better. Um, you might want to check out these a couple of different supplements. One's called natokinase, and the other one's called, uh, and I'm going to leave them down below, DCI, decaroinositol, and myoinositol for fertility if you're looking for fertility, fertility stuff, okay? Um, if you know you're in your 30s and 40s and this is what you're looking for. Some of you are dealing with um, kids going off to college, you're concerned about paying for college tuition or just having you have like a lot like a lot of like older maybe teens or like early 20s the kids that are you know they're a little bit wild your, your children are a little bit wild and they're doing kind of some wild stuff and you can't keep up <laughs> oh, that's funny um bam you got this and i think libra you may end up with a libra was it Libra? Could have been Virgo. You got the Rancher Dude card, which is the card which is about a man who you've been waiting for your whole life. This is the whole package, romance, happiness, great sex, a life together. This is you meeting that person. Um, so some of you are going to ha maybe already have met this person or will meet this person in August. You may take things to the next level in August. Um, some of you, you have feelings for someone who's, you have emotions or feelings for someone who's already married. Um, and the energy going back to the transition, the death card represents transition and change. And this is a time of change, moving, things happening. Um, so that's pretty much all for now. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, Google, posting, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you have any questions and if you'd like to, um, you know, do, you know, set up a private time for a private reading. I'd love to get that scheduled. So I send you guys big hugs, big kisses, and I will talk to you guys again soon. All right. Take care. All the best.